What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is Gintel by Tile. We'll be talking about more. We need, well, we need more operation slash ex uh, expansions for Marvel's Avengers. Before I dive into this video, I want to thank you guys so very much for leaving a like, subscribing, all this stuff. We're at 385 subscribers, five away from next goal of 390. And yeah, with all the way, I mean, if you are new to the channel, welcome, where we mainly do Marvel's Avengers videos, but also a bunch of other games like Gotham Knights, uh, Multiverses, etc. as well. So definitely stay tuned for that. With all the way, it's done with this chat, this video. Oh my God, it's been a while, guys. I know I, I've I've been a little sick last week, so that's why I'm like a little, still a little thing. I feel a lot better though, so that's why I'm able to you know, get out some videos again. Uh, as you can see, I'm playing as Winter Soldier once more. Obviously, I'm trying to level him up. Uh, I unlocked his White Wolf outfit in his shipments from actually. I was very surprised. I only my 75th opening. Usually the last, all the last other ones I had to take, gave me a hundred, so this was a little interesting to see. But, um, basically, yeah, if you haven't already know that, but basically Marvel's Avengers used to do operations, which were little story campaigns that continued. See, this was the main one that we did. And then they first came out with Taking Aim, which introduced Kate Bishop. And then the next one was Future Imperfect with Hawkeye, which introduced him. And then the last one they did was an expansion, actually, which was a lot longer. It was not a lot, but a little bit longer than the last two little mini campaigns was the Black Panther War for Wakanda DLC, which honestly was one of the best DLCs they had. Because, honestly, that expansion gave us, like, new biome, new outposts, new enemies. It was, like, a whole whole thing. But, um, after that, this year, they just kind of went away from all that stuff for some reason. I guess because of the budget and everything, but still... We've gotten the same amount of time with, like, Jane and Bucky about, what, six months of development and stuff. Like, they couldn't have done a little bit more, like, actual story stuff. Like, with Bucky, I'm happy they actually did some, like, kind of in-game cutscenes. Not actual cutscenes, like, you know, like the Spider-Man DLC had, like, like cinematic cutscenes, if I'm saying. But it definitely had some in-game cutscenes, which was... Not bad, but I really wished he actually had his own missions as well, like they did with the other ones as well. Because if I can go back in here, actually, um, I can just select, say, taking aim. And then she actually has, like, her own missions as well. Uh, there's, like, one right here. There's uh, two, one right here. I think there's a few somewhere. Yeah, there's four over here. So basically, like, you can see her thing. There's, like, four missions for her to do, actually. And there's like a bunch for the other characters as well, except for for some reason you can't replay the the Black Panther missions for some reason in Wakanda because they would have showed up right here. But for some reason you can't. You have to like redo the entire campaign for that, which kind of sucked. Uh, let me go back to this real quick. But um, yeah, I really wanted to. Hopefully, if the game's doing the if they just when well, the next character, I'm like sorry guys, I'm like stuttering a little bit. But sorry, who's talking? Who are you talking to? Oh, okay. I was like, who are you talking to? But basically, um, they really should just bring that back. A lot of people like the actual operations and, you know, camp expansions and stuff, including myself. I actually liked it a lot and stuff, you know, because all those cutscenes, everything, and just, like, the story actually was a lot more of a story, which was very nice, actually. And, um, whoever bring they next, or whoever character they bring next, I hope they, I hope they just do operations again, honestly. Like, if it's spending so much on development time, just at that point, just make it, like, an operation, and but, like, communicate with us that it's like, oh, guys, I know this is taking longer, but this is being, we're bringing back uh, operations, expansions, so that's why it will be taking longer, because, um, honestly, I feel like the end game content, like, the OLTs, the raid and stuff haven't been really decent, or not really good, I don't know, but, um, yeah, so... Basically, I want them back. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys want uh, operations slash expansions back as well. Without the way, leave a like, subscribe, all that stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.